Hi guys, Tony Hayes here and uh, I've got a new software again today, YouTube Live Commando and this is a very, very, very good software and we've already had some case studies where people are ranking ultra quickly for competitive keyword terms. Okay, now it's an extremely simple software to use but you do need to have a fast upload speed. Okay, so if I just scroll over to where we have our sales page, if I can find it over here, um, you can see at the top up here that I've put in some details in the sales page um, which is where you're probably watching this video from hopefully and you will be able to tell you know what kind of upload speeds and what kind of streaming quality that you can use now if you do not have a, a decent upload speed a fast upload speed then you really need to be using a VPS for this to work successfully I rather you do not purchase this if you don't intend to get a VPS or if you have a, a low um, um, upload speed here okay anything under 1.0 I would suggest you need a VPS to get the very best out of this and with the VPS you can do some fantastic things anyway okay uh, for example let's scroll down to the bottom here and you can see this free videos these are example videos that we have um, been testing with okay um, this first one my coder did this you can see it's quite a good quality um, he did that at 3, 360 um, streaming quality okay and we had another customer this is the one that's ranking really really fast for spin rewrite of five if you type in spin rewrite of five you will see this video um, ranking I think is a number two right now and if you uh, if you type in spin rewrite of five review um, you'll see he's number one for that and that happens in the last 24 hours he just uploaded it um, yesterday basically and you can imagine the amount of competition for this kind of keyword that was a major launch and he's sitting there number one within 24 hours using this software Plus he used uh, social bookmark commando and he used the search and click commando as well. Now he did this with uh, his own computer. He didn't use the VPS but he has got a very, very fast internet upload speed. Okay, he's got a very, very fast internet connection and he did that from desktop. Now this third one is um, one that was done by Clint and he used the VPS and this is done at 1080. Okay, and then and this one here was done at 1082 and this one was done at 1080. And you can just scroll down underneath this video um, because this video will be up here in the sales page um, somewhere here. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of the quality you can get. But please don't buy it unless you intend to either use a VPS or you have a fast internet speed. Otherwise, it's not going to work good for you at all. Okay, so let's take a look at the software. It's very simple. You have some settings here. You can have it enable schedule tasks. You can um, schedule um, some live stream, uh, YouTube live stream edit. Um, you can for for the hangouts for the youtube live you can go and schedule them here under the new project here so you can go and um, schedule a project here okay you can schedule as many as you want um, so if you want to do scheduling you enable this one typically i don't do that i just have it remind me every time windows starts up okay in the accounts it's very simple you just click add you put in uh, your gmail account whatever your gmail account will be your email so email at gmail.com for example you put a comma and you put your password okay no space between the comma and the password and basically you just add your account once you've added your account you click over there and you click this button to start getting accounts and that's it okay if you've got a multi-channel account once this comes green your other channels will show in here Okay, and you just choose the one in here that you want to use before you use the YouTube Live. So, for example, if I want, I want to go and stream a video um, to this particular one here for online uh, lead generation in Thailand, then I assign it in this section here, in the account section, so that when I go over here and I create a new project in here, um, it's going to do that. It's going to choose that one automatically. And we can select the account that we want to post from from here. You can see I've got this one that I just put in now and we got this one okay so this is when you select an account in here it's your gmail account you select in here and in here this section under the accounts is where you you choose your assigned channel okay that's how that works so i'm just going to get rid of this one here if you want to delete any you just check box click on delete and delete selected if you click on the clear it's going to clear all of those you can also save these as well you can just click on save um put a new uh, folder. I'm just going to put accounts for YouTube Live. 
get rid of the typo. I can just put accounts one for example and save that in there and it will save for me. Okay, so if I want to import it later, just open, find the file and pull it back in. Right now, what we can do in here, it's very, very simple. It's extremely easy, easy, easy to use. What you do is you click on new project, you find a video that you want to use. So I'm gonna go and find one. And I'm gonna choose this one here. Okay, now I'm going to give it a project name. This is for my use only. This is just for me to be able to find it easily if I want to, so I know what it's what I'm talking about. That's what's going to show in this section here. So I can call this Patia Real Estate, for example. Okay, and we can create an event. So we can give it a title. Try and use a compelling title. I will build some more stuff into this so that we can and create compelling titles and so that we can do some um, better optimization with the um, actual description. So what we can do in the event description, you're gonna give it a description. Ideally, you're going to be using some LSI keywords. You're gonna go in there um, and you're going to um, go to the Google Keyword Planner. You're gonna look at grouped keywords. Use those instead of keyword density like we used to use. So, um, you know, Google will tell you the grouped keywords. I've got a lot of videos on my site that can teach you how to do that. And we've got a video this Sunday coming up, um, a webinar this Sunday coming up that will teach you how to do that as well. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're finding the closest Google keyword group to the seed keyword you want to use. We're taking the keywords from there. We're sprinkling those keywords throughout the, 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 the um, description, throughout the article. And we use that these days instead of um, keyword density. That's just my little strategy for doing that. Sometimes if it gets too repetitive, just use what we call the modifiers, okay? Things like best, top, um, you know, 24 hour emergency, all of those kind of things are, are kind of modifiers. So you can find the modifiers just by looking for what you've got there. Okay, so all I need to do is click on select account, which is this one. And then you start and um, you select a stream quality. So again, check with what your, your quality is. If you're in doubt, don't choose anything less than um, 360 um, to get a decent quality playback. If we go back over to the sales page here, uh, if I just scroll up, you've got a guide here. Now we'll put this in the members area too, but you can see the guide here. And then all you have to do then is, let me just put this at 240 for just for quickness. All you have to do then is click on add the project. Okay, when you've added the project, you check box the project you want to work with. I'm just gonna get rid of the other one just for simplicity. Okay, we check box the project and what we wanna do is just preview just for a few seconds. Okay, so you can see it's playing okay. And then you can click to start YouTube live event and just leave it to do its work. You don't need to touch it anymore. Um, just leave it and it will go and do its work and you just let it do what it needs to do. At the end, it's gonna give you the YouTube video URL and there will be a button next to it as well that gives you the option to go into the YouTube um, editor where you can edit um, the sort of back end and front end of the video you can add outros and intros and stuff like that uh, so we can just watch this for a second and see how it works okay, so it starts to fill in the details logs in for us puts in title description that you've added in there choose the quality that we've chosen in the settings and it does all that kind of work for us in the background okay we get this error message but you ignore it the software fixes that in just a second we don't need to touch anything we're just waiting for the streaming to start and we can tell here the stream status is good if it matches the bandwidth that you've got on your internet connection okay if your upload speed can handle it and what you've um, given for the, the streaming quality Okay, and this will just start streaming in a second. You will see a red um, sort of counting box telling you the video is being streamed. And here we go. And again, we don't need to touch anything. Just leave it and let it work. And it's cut off early and the reason it's cut off early is because i've got a really bad internet connection okay but anyway this is what it looks like 
I, I need to I need to use a VPS for this, but doing a video like this in a VPS is very clunky. It doesn't work very well. So it will give us the, the event URL, which you can just go over to YouTube. If you want to go and edit your video, you can click on this button here, and it will open. Just can just open this up. You don't need to touch it just yet. Just wait until it loads the video. And if you know how to use the editor, then you can go ahead and start editing. You can put an intro, you can put in a call to action, outro, etc. Now I'm going to get Robert to do a video on this part because I never used this um, editor before. So um, I can learn from him as well. Um, and we'll get somebody to do a video that knows how to use this part. So anyway, that's um, basically how it works. It's a very, very good software. And just to reiterate that you do get very good rankings with this, but you do need to do some extra things as well. So if I go and check um, what um, Texas um, results in here, um, he did spin rewrite of five. And you can see down here, he got ranking on page one. It says two days now, but it, it was done within 24 hours. And if we type in the word review here, and we're going to find him sitting there on page one again. He was number one earlier, so somebody's fought back a little bit. Maybe he needs to do more backlinking, but he was number one a couple of um, <clears throat> a couple of hours ago. So he's you know within 24 hours, and you can bet there's a whole bunch of people. You know, they even got their <clears throat> spin rewrite of five review dot com, and they put all that kind of work into it. And he comes in within 24 hours. He's on page one above them and making sales okay so you can see how powerful this software is that is a very very competitive launch um, for the affiliates and for for the um, sort of YouTube stuff and he did it very very quickly using this particular tool okay so that's it and um, hopefully you can understand the need and necessity to be able to have a fast upload speed please don't buy it. otherwise otherwise you know it, it's just a, a pain in the ass for doing refunds and you know, trying to help people either get a VPS or have upwards, uh, have a fast upward speed before you purchase, and um, it's going to work very, very well for you, and you can get fast rankings. Um, we'll put a link to get a VPS. So I think it's about eighty dollars a month. They do all the work for you, set it all up for you, and then you just need to install the software, and it will work fine. And that eighty dollars should really pay back very, very quickly if you know what you're selling. Okay, so there's no point in just putting videos onto YouTube to get number one. You've got to be selling something from those videos and it will pay back for you. Okay, thanks, bye.